first commandment says, I am the Lord your God. You shall not have other gods before me. What is implied in the affirmation of God? I am the Lord your God. In Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. This means that the faithful must guard and activate the three theological virtues and must avoid sins which are opposed to them. What are these three theological virtues? These are faith, hope, and charity. Faith is believing in God and rejecting everything that is opposed to it, such as deliberate doubt, unbelief, heresy, apostasy, and schism. Hope is trustingly awaiting the blessed vision of God and His help, while avoiding despair and presumption. Charity is loving God above all things and therefore repudiates indifference, ingratitude, lukewarmness, sloth, or spiritual indolence and that hatred of God which is born of pride. What is the meaning of the words of our Lord? Adore the Lord your God and worship Him alone. Matthew 4, verse 10. These words mean to adore God as the Lord of everything that exists, to render Him the individual community worship which is His due, to pray to Him with sentiments of praise, of thanks, and of supplication, to offer Him sacrifices, above all the spiritual sacrifice of one's own life, united with the perfect sacrifice of Christ, and to keep His promises and vows made to Him. In what way does a person exercise his or her proper right to worship God in truth and in freedom? Every person has the right and the moral duty to seek the truth, especially in what concerns God and His Church. Once the truth is known, each person he has the right and moral duty to embrace it, to guard it faithfully and to render God authentic worship. At the same time, the dignity of the human person requires that in religious matters, no one may be forced to act against conscience, nor be restrained within the just limits of public order from acting in conformity with conscience, privately or publicly, alone or in association with others. What does God prohibit in His command? You shall not have other gods before me. In Exodus chapter 20 verse 2. This commandment forbids 1. Polytheism and idolatry, which divinizes creatures, power, money, or even demons. Number 2. Superstition, which is departure from the worship due to the true God, and which also expresses itself in various forms of divination, magic, sorcery, and spiritism. Number 3. A religion, which is evidence in tempting God by word or deed. In sacrilege, which profanes sacred persons or sacred things above all the Eucharist. And in simony, which involves the buying or selling of spiritual things. Number four, atheism, which rejects the existence of God, founded often on false conception of human autonomy. Number five, Agnosticism, which affirms that nothing can be known about God and involves indifferentism and practical. That's the commandment of God, Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. You shall not make yourself a graven image, for we the cult of the images. In the Old Testament, this commandment forbade any representation of God who is absolutely transcendent. The Christian veneration of sacred images, however, is justified by the incarnation of the Son of God, because such veneration is founded on the mystery of the Son of God made man, in whom the transcendent God is made visible. This does not mean the adoration of an image, but rather the veneration of the one who is represented in it. For example, Christ, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the angels, and the saints.